Ouch. Now, England don't need that. They do not need an injury to one of their frontline batsmen. That's a nasty blow for Bell at short leg. No protection there. Short leg fielders, modern short leg fielders will have the box on, the shin pads, the helmet, but nothing on the arms. And that was pretty well hit by Bell. To Bell. Short pulled away, and all you can do at short leg is take cover. Hits him somewhere on the arm. Hopefully on a softer part. Now that will hurt. I'd say it's somewhere around the wrist, Bob. Not many soft parts there. It's all small bones, tiny bones. The only real thing Bell can do is go off the pitch and get it x-rayed. The only thing you can do, however much you have treatment on it, get it in ice maybe, get the swelling down. As a batsman, he's going to need to have his wrist working well. Concerned looking Michael Vaughan. It's been such a problem for England over recent series. Players out of the blue getting uh, injuries. Yes, it looks like uh, the top of the right wrist and straight away worryingly Nasser it looked as though that uh, hand was uh, hanging limp he was determined to keep it still yeah and worryingly when we've just been to him there in the huddle he looks like he was almost in tears when he took his helmet off he's in serious pain you can see the swelling and that looks very very poor for England and number five is walking off and he'll be straight to hospital the hospital that Mustard was in yesterday afternoon. There's another one in. Ian Bell it is this time. 